In this video, we will learn how to set up multiple jobs and multiple patterns to test several samples automatically in one go. This method can be used on Duramin 40, Duramin 100 and Duramin 650. In order to test more samples at the same time, we will use a multiple sample holder. We are going to test four samples and we will choose a different load, a different objective lens and a different indentation pattern for each of the samples. First, we create four jobs, one per sample, by clicking on the plus button. We give each of them a name and select an objective. All these fields can be edited at any time by clicking on the E button. Each job can have a different testing method, if the indenter is installed, and a different load. In this case, we will choose Vickers for all four samples. For sample 1, we choose 5 kg force. For sample 2, 2 kg force. For sample 3, 20 kg force. And for sample 4, 25 kg force. Now we switch to overview camera and we start building our multiple testing patterns. What we need to do is to link each job to a specific sample. So we go to the jobs list, we left click on the first job, which we called sample 1, and we click on this button and choose test pattern. We create a pattern, for example a line, with 7 indents at 1mm distance from each other, tilted 105 degrees, and while holding down control we position it here. We click on save once we're done. We now move to the second sample. We select the job called sample 2, and in this case we choose to make multiple patterns on the same sample, like a zigzag, a line, and a circle. After repositioning the patterns, we can give each of them a name and a color. This will make it easy to read the results in the final diagram. Then we click on save. Let's go to the third sample. After selecting the sample 3 job, we choose to create some custom points by holding down CTRL and left click and we save once we're done. For the last sample, sample 4, we create a matrix made of 3 lines with 5 points each. Don't forget to save. We are now done with all the samples. We can see that if we click on each job, only the patterns related to that job will be visible. If you double-click on any point of the pattern, the stage will move to the selected location. The last thing we want to do is to make sure that all the jobs we want the machine to execute are checked in the box here. In this case we want to execute all four jobs, so we check them all. We move back to objective camera and we click on start to begin the test. Once all the tests are done, each set of results will be available under each job. If we want to include more jobs in the same report, we make sure to mark the checkboxes for the selected jobs in the left side of the screen. Results can then be printed in a report, exported in an Excel file, and saved in the archive. 